few reactions, a few very important reactions of carboxylic acids that are frequently tested in the A2 syllabus. Okay, but before we proceed to the reactions of carboxylic acids, there are some more, some important reactions that we need to do before proceeding there. Okay, these reactions are of the three compounds, the phenol, ethanol, and ethanoic acid. And the reactions are with first reactions are first reaction is with sodium metal. This is sodium metal, and uh, so with sodium metal we know that phenol is acidic. We know that ethanol is also acidic, and ethanoic acid is also acidic. They'll give a positive test with sodium metal because sodium metal is highly reactive. It will react with phenol to give sodium phenoxide. This uh, organic product is important, and it has been frequently asked in the past papers. Then with uh, uh, ethanol, the product that we have is sodium ethoxide. Okay, this is sodium ethoxide, not sodium ethanoate. This is sodium ethoxide. People often confuse this with sodium ethanoate. Sodium ethanoate is the salt of ethanoic acid not the salt of ethanol okay sodium ethoxide is a salt of so uh, ethanol and then the third uh, salt that we get is sodium uh, ethanoate with ethanoic acid okay then the next uh, uh, rea reagent that the reaction undergoes is with sodium hydroxide uh, sodium hydroxide give uh, is an alkali and then the phenol gives a positive result with the alkalis because phenol is acidic and the product is the same it's uh, sodium phenoxide, sodium phenoxide salt as the major organic product. Sodium hydroxide being an alkali has no reaction with ethanol uh, and no alcohol has any reaction with uh, alkalis. Okay, so alkalis and ethanol and alcohols do not react. Alkalis have no reaction with alcohols. Okay, this is a very important point do remember it and then again alkali will react with the carboxylic acid and give again sodium ethanoate as the product okay now the third and uh, the final and the more very important uh, reagent is sodium carbonate sodium carbonate has no reaction with phenol nor it has any reaction with ethanol sodium carbonate only reacts with uh, ethanoic acid so basically Sodium carbonate uh, then finally gives the same uh, salt, sodium ethanoate. And from this, we can uh, deduce that sodium carbonate is the best test for carboxylic acids because it has no reaction even with phenols. All the phenols are more acidic than alcohols. But they have no reaction with phenols, no reaction with alcohols, and they give a positive reaction with carboxylic acids only. And then the product, the organic product is the same, sodium ethanoate. Okay, now let's talk about a few reactions of carboxylic, of a few important carboxylic acids. And these important carboxylic acids are methanoic acid, the first acid that we have. Uh, in our carboxylic acid family this carboxylic acid if we look at the blue outline it's the carboxyl group the COOH group but if we look at the red outline over here this red outline represents an aldehyde group aldehyde is basically a CHO group a carbon double bonded O with a terminal hydrogen group all aldehydes are reducing agents uh, so basically remember this important point that aldehydes are reducing agent and why are they reducing agent because they have this hydrogen over here they have a terminal hydrogen attached to the carbon atom terminal hydrogen atom attached to the carbon atom which they can donate and reducing agents can donate hydrogen atoms okay now the first reaction that we have over here is oxidation oxidation of the carboxylic acid or oxidation of methanoic acid okay oxidizing agent used over here is KMnO4 acidified and heated uh, okay this O represents the oxygen from the oxidizing agent the carboxylic acid the methanoic acid gets oxidized to carbon dioxide and water uh, the equation is not balanced and I am not balancing it because the balancing isn't that important just to learn the final product and uh, or you if you want you may balance it but uh, it's not that important. Then uh, since this is an aldehyde, it will give a pos positive 
result with all the tests of for aldehydes. The tests for aldehydes that we did in AS were Tollins reagent test, Ferring solution test. They both uh, in the Tollins reagent test were, uh, if we recall AS, silver mirror was formed if aldehyde was present. Silver mirror test. This was also called a silver mirror test. And the reagent used in this Tollins reagent uh, that was used was silver diamine silver 1 with a positive charge. This was the cation present in the Tollins reagent that was used as a test for aldehydes. And this would uh, then uh, get converted to silver um, element, uh, silver mirror would have formed. And then the second reagent that is used is uh, that gives a positive test is the ferring solution test and ferring solution contains copper 2 plus ions and OH negative ions uh, they and the final uh, product the positive sign of this uh, presence of aldehyde is indicated by the uh, production of brick red PPT of copper 1 oxide copper 1 oxide is a brick red PPT which is formed when aldehydes are present in the ferring solution test and then I've made a few uh, equations over here. So then again, ethanol, uh, sorry, methanoic acid combines with Tollins reagent to give carbon dioxide and water. Again, carbon dioxide and water. In oxidation, the products were carbon dioxide and water. Over here, uh, this is basically an oxidizing, oxidation reaction. Oxidation reaction, therefore, it gives carbon dioxide and water again. And then Felling's uh, test. Ferring's test also gives a brick red PPT. Uh, Ferring's test does give a brick red PPT. Uh, Ferring solution test. And in Ferring solution test, uh, a brick red PPT is formed. And this is also an oxidation reaction. Or you may also call it a redox reaction in which the uh, methanoic acid gets oxidized to carbon dioxide and water again. Now, the next important acid that we are going to talk about is the ethane dioic acid, carbon double bonded oxygen. Uh, ethane meaning two carbons and then dioic acid meaning two carboxylic acid groups. So this is our ethane dioic acid which is also referred to as the oxalic acid. Okay, now oxalic acid again the reaction that we had with uh, me uh, methanoic acid oxidi oxidation with k 4 acidified and heat. The products are the same we get carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so carbon dioxide and water, the products are the same. And uh, this is the oxidation reaction with, uh, this is the oxidation reaction of uh, oxalic acid with our oxidizing agent KMnO4. Now, this is the overall equation. But now if we split these, uh, the equations into half equations, so what we get is that, uh, the manganate ion, the MnO4 negative, this manganate ion is basically, it has been reduced itself to Mn2 plus ion, Mn2 plus ion. The manganese in manganate ion has a charge of plus 7, but it has been, <coughs> uh, excuse me, okay, manganate, uh, manganese has a charge of plus 7 in the manganate ion. And this plus 7 charge has been reduced to plus 2 charge. So basically, this uh, oxidizing agent has been reduced. And the carbon in the uh, oxalic acid, the carbon in the ethane dioic acid, uh, has been changed to car carbon dioxide. In the carbon dioxide, carbon has a charge of plus 4. Whereas in the oxalic acid, the charge on carbon Let's assume it to be x, so 2x plus 4 into minus 2, uh, minus 2 because oxygen has a valency of minus 2 is equal to minus 2, minus 2 again because the overall charge of this ion is negative 2. Let's calculate the value of x and it becomes 8 minus 2, 6 and 6 upon 2 is plus 3. So the carbon over here in the oxalic acid has a charge of plus 3. So this plus 3 uh, carbon has been oxidized to plus 4 because increase in oxidation number is oxidation. Increase in oxidation number is oxidation. And so the carbon atom has been oxidized and the manganese itself has been reduced. So the oxidizing agent, it does get reduced. Okay, now there are redox calculations on the basis of these two equations and we are going to talk about the redox calculations in the next video. 
Thank you so much.